mean you and the boys aren't coming? I promised them a room. No, I can't do it with one. One vampire does not make a whole room. Now what am I supposed to do? Figure. Welcome to Drop, where we take your dumb ideas and make even spookier drawings. I'm Dr. Jacob Stein's monster. I'm Nathan, but a zombie. Uh, I'm Karina with a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm Dr. Julia's monster. <laughs> <laughs> with a chainsaw. Oh, oh no. shit. <laughs> That's too dangerous. <laughs> As you may have guessed from this exquisitely planned intro, <laughs> we're doing our our Halloween sonas, our our monster sonas today. It's a speed draw episode. I kind of just wanted an excuse to do like some monster prom esque cool drawings of ourselves. So that's what we did. Hey, you know what, Jacob? You what? know what I'm calling this in my head? What? This is a real monster mash. It's a real monster mash. I hope you, the viewers at home, are ready to mash that like button. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow, slick. <laughs> really good. Because <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're about to have a monster of a good time. Nathan, are you ready yeah. to go first? So ready. Do you want to tell us what you did? Uh yeah, I I made myself a a Sasquatch. Oh, wow. Okay, a cryptid. All right. <laughs> yeah. You want me to count you in? Please do. Three, two, one, go. I uh I also am very excited for the new uh the new monster prom monster camp. Yeah, me too. Oh. And. Honestly, I'd be surprised if they didn't have their own version of a of a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot type yeah. uh, character in that. Sure. But I figured I'd make my own because <laughs> I, I Googled it and I didn't see any. <laughs> this is such a strong start. Yeah. Ah. Maybe this one will be in the new game. Yeah. They can... if. Yeah, if they want to add this in real this quick. This is our time to announce Nathan <laughs> guest appearing in Monster uh, Camp. Yeah. <laughs> Today, live announcement. Live announcement trailer. Nathan, new Nathan, Nathan, Nathan character. Smash. Nathan in Smash. <laughs> Nathan in the, Smash. The game where you can make the monsters smash. Hey. Hey, got him. I like that you're doing the classic <laughs> pose. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to incorporate the the Bigfoot walking pose. I love this nervous energy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm. I imagine Bigfoot doesn't want people. <laughs> like he's not. He's never expecting people. Yeah, he's shy. He's just like, oh, I. Huh, okay, hey. Um, I was just going. I was just going, but what's up? I was Hello. just going this way, so I'm gonna keep on. I'm just gonna keep going, but um. I get, don't hey don't take a blurry picture of me please. Oh well you're doing it. So Oh you're doing it. Okay, well at least don't tag me in it. Oh, you're tagging me in it. Okay, well this well. is kind of, this is just rude. This is rude. This is kind of rude. This is why I moved to the middle of the woods. You know what I love about that Bigfoot photo, the blur the famous blurry one is that the Bigfoot doesn't look like it's moving particularly quickly. No. And I feel like the person really could have if they had wanted to like run up and and taken another Pick. Yeah, they they could have focused the camera <laughs> yeah, a little bit, gotten a little closer, maybe. Yeah, that that Bigfoot is strolling. I would love <laughs> if, if the if the Sasquatch saw someone taking a photo of him, and he did kind of a, a very fast hustle. All of a sudden, he's just like, oh shit. And you just see him kind of like duck and run. <laughs> It'd be very funny. Yeah, he spin dashes away like Sonic. <laughs> he does the thing where um, you're trying to get out of the intersection because it's the the blinking uh, hand. Yeah, but you're not actually moving fast. You just sort of move your arms like you're. Yeah. Yeah, you're giving the illusion of hustle, <laughs> so that the drivers will be like, "Now that now that guy's really trying to get out." Now of the I way. don't need to honk at them. I still yeah. will. Yeah. But- I didn't need to. Yeah. 
My favorite move to do as a pedestrian is to run across the intersection. And then when I get like kind of kind of into the road, it's like established that I'm there and that I'm going so I can just start walking. Oh, yeah. Take your time. <laughs> no, love yeah. that. Love to do that. What are you going to do? Hit me? <laughs> <laughs> do it, coward. I love the shading. Yeah. Thanks. I... I love the art in uh, in Monster Prom and the the shading in that it it looks so effortless and I was I was trying to capture it. It still it, it looks a little different than than probably how they do it. But I was really I had a bunch of references up and I was I was just trying to get that like that real angular. They're just so confident with their shapes, the little shadow shapes they got. Um. I like this drawing a lot because uh, I I try a lot of things that I don't end up using, and you'll get to <laughs> you'll get to see. I it's was part just of the sort process. of yeah. I was yeah, getting more confident with just trying stuff that may or may not work, and being like, okay, you know, people can see me add things that I don't end up using, and um, I feel like that's the fun of watching someone's full process. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because originally I was thinking I would do the hair like the they have on the werewolf guy, wh- mm-hmm. where there is a lot of line work in it. But ultimately, I decided uh, that overcomplicated things. Yeah. But you got to try, or else how are you gonna know? Yeah. Yeah. So I tried it. So I say good on you. Yeah. And also, I think people watching like to see. I feel yeah. like it's a it's a misconception a lot of people have when they're like starting out in art that more established <laughs> artists can just like do anything they want first try with no like issue. Yeah, there's there's push and pull. <laughs> yeah, and it's a it's constantly a game of like does this work? Does this work? There's fiddling and faddling. Yeah. All these shapes. Yeah. yeah. Again, they just got they got some real nice the every all the art in the game is just so pleasant. And um, oh. yeah, I, I so here here I try and do sort of like a, a, a paintbrush shading uh-huh. uh, and I end up deciding that the, the first brush I chose is too toothy, um, but not I don't decide that until after I've shaded all the trees. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> yeah. And then I and then I end up saying, no, actually not that. And then I go with a different brush and I try that one. I go, no, not that one either. And then I end up going, I think I end up going with the the Kyle watercolor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one's a nice one. one. That one's subtle enough. You got to find the Goldilocks brush. Yeah. It's just right. This In this instance, it was the Kyle watercolor. This pick right now is like, POV, you already said goodbye to Sasquatch Nathan, but now you're walking in the same <laughs> yeah, direction. Yeah, you're walking in the same direction. <laughs> Ooh. And then I add one because they when they do the uh the little shots of of you like after you pick the location you go to, they do these little these little scenes that have these fun borders. And so I tried to make a similar type of border. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. You really monster prompted yours up. Like you you fully committed to the I I'm a style <laughs> mimic. That's what I do. That's my job here on the program. I ended up not liking that. So I, I do it. <laughs> That's so one valid. One yeah. more again. Um that's basically it. I feel like if this popped up in the game, I wouldn't even like question. Yeah, thank you. There. This is good as hell, Nathan. Yeah, thank you. You crushed it. I had fun doing it. Lovely. I want to give this guy a hug. Yeah, but do, <laughs> but ask permission first. <laughs> well, I mean, we we're pretty good friends. I feel like okay. Still, we could probably hug well, each depend- other. Well, this is my my Halloween Sona, so it depends what your Halloween Sona is. Is is he a huggy friend? Probably not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see it. Okay, I'll go. I'll go now. Okay, so for mine, I I was I had in mind a a skeleton, ooh, um, and then I started drawing. It ends up kind of going in more of like a necromancery direction. Oh, sick! Um, I I had said monster prom for this, but I was I've really just been thinking about Hades a lot lately, and it definitely sure. has some of those <laughs> vibes in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
And, and also I was sort of inspired by a drawing that not, not directly inspired, but somewhat inspired by a drawing that Karina did in an episode yeah. that we're not going to get to release, unfortunately, because <laughs> <laughs> the files got messed up. But Amazing. <laughs> you didn't need to cite that one. You could have just claimed it. She busted out a really good pose really fast, and I was like, I want to have a good pose really fast. So I did a bunch of gesture practice before I started this one, and then I was nice. really happy with the pose. So. Oh, heck. I can't wait to see your pose. I'm just going to jump in. Three, two, one, go. First things first. <laughs> start, start with the skull. Set the mood. Set the scene. Have some skulls on the screen. Get some skulls, skulls on, on the screen. screen. Get some mood lighting. Yeah. <laughs> well, I knew I was going to need to draw like a skeleton skull head at some point. And so I was just sort of getting ready for that uh, eventuality. This is like the human version of your persona. Oh, yeah. Is he holding the skull? <laughs> no, he's not holding the skull. It's more oh, okay. of like a, a power. Is this a front view of... Uh, Kaiba doing the hand thing. <laughs> yeah, no. you're gonna do the. <laughs> yeah, I am not. Jacob, your Halloween Sona is so strong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I drew the body and I was like, this is way stronger than me, but I'm keeping it because I love yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> why not? It's a drawing. You can make yourself as strong as you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'm kind of wearing like a skull mask, yeah. um, sort of thing that's got like a half jaw. Uh, inspired by Grim Jow from Bleach. Yeah. So I was thinking about cool. Grim Jow. Sometimes you got to think about Grim Jow. Sometimes you just think about Grim Jow or just any cool anime I was character. Be Phantom of the Opera. It kind of is a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> uh, then I got this big old oh, collar and I was collar. like, yeah, I'm not a skeleton. I'm definitely some sort of bone magician, like getting some Rygina energy in here. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I yeah, I'd give this character a hug. Yeah, but does he want to hug you is the question. Oh damn. Well, you said you you said you did. I, I do. Yeah. But does he? Yeah. I don't know. Big hugging arms. Yeah, he does have big strong hugging arms. Yeah. And I don't know if you're a necromancer why you need to be like jacked. <laughs> <laughs> Probably you don't need to be. No, you don't you usually like uh, strength is kind of a dump stat for uh, for casters. But... Yeah, <laughs> it's to make all the skeletons you bring back to life jealous of your human form. Yeah, your flesh. Like, Look yeah. at this. Yeah, Look that's this. how I summon them up I, with my so big muscles. So much flesh. Pull them out of the ground. <laughs> you lift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you I bench, bro. I start inking there, and then I get rid of it because I actually wanted to go with like a thinner oh, line yeah. quality against yes. sort of my my instinct is always to go thick, and I was like. Not this time, Jacob. Change Not it up. Not this time. <laughs> Be different. You already drew a thick boy. You don't need the thick lines. Yeah. <laughs> we get it. You're thick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm right here experiencing the thickness that I can never have in real life. <laughs> <laughs> as a real sort of bony, lanky fella. That's, I mean, that's the power you have as an artist. I hope that we encourage people to get into drawing if only to draw yourself with the gains you will never <laughs> achieve in real life. And I mean, who knows? Maybe someday, maybe things will change for me yeah. and I'll you know, really focus on, on sick gains, but I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs> really bulk up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was proud of this hand. This is just a free form hand. I was about Great to say, hand. this is a really good hand. Yeah, no, no reference Jacob, on this one. Your hands are always really good. But sometimes they just come out real, real easy. And I'm like, how did, yeah. how did that happen? Because sometimes I can't do it. But today I could do it. I always go back to the hands you drew on, um, on Bowsette w when yeah. you weren't even looking at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> Instinct. Yeah. Ooh. I love. Yeah, I had a couple extra. little, little <laughs> cracks. <laughs> Um, I end up forgetting to do both the ring on the finger and the rib cage bones <laughs> on the shirt. I just like totally forgot to do those until I was already done and looked back. It I happens. Like, oh, I had details. I did that with part of my drawing too. You're good. <laughs> okay, cool. So now I'm just flattening in, uh, getting the. You kind of, kind of look like a super villain. <laughs> yeah, I think I have some of that energy. I imagine that I'm just like in a cave, like laughing to myself <laughs> about something. 
<laughs> looking at your hand. Looking at my hand's power. My... You ever just look at your hand? <laughs> well, when it has like green energy. Yeah. When it's got necrotic energy yeah. swirling around it. It's like a fart. Uh, so for... <laughs> it's like a, it's like, it's a hand it's fart. It's like when you fart into your hand and then smell it. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, look Ew. at how stank. Look at how stank this fart was. <laughs> You know when you fart into your hand and then smell it? <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> I do a different sort of coloring style on this one. Um, I got a big soft brush out and I put a multiply layer over everything and then um, used the, the, what's it called when you do the black and white clipping mask thing? The black and white clipping mask thing? <laughs> Where it's you, the, the layer that you put on and it's the clipping layer that you can erase without erasing. Oh, uh, mask? The mask. <laughs> it's some sort of mask. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you all know what I'm talking about? No. I wasn't prepared Julia, to be quizzed today. Julia's response was that of like a parent that you woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> I only asked Julia because she literally taught me how to do this multiple times, uh, and I learned it from her directly. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared to, bag, to be addressed. Jacob. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't expect I you to know sound what you're talking about. so <laughs> sick of my shit when I asked you this you, you genuine mean a mask, question. Right? Okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to be addressed directly. <laughs> Anyways, I'm in the shadows. I used a big soft brush to erase out the shadows, and then I used a, a soft light layer with the green to get the glow wow. and those light spots. And then I, I used a hard brush to get the uh, specific like highlights oh, and areas shit. that would be, that that would be shining. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, and I thought it was a really fun shading look. It's like I was trying trying something a little different. It looks cool. I love the, the combination hard and soft. Your hair is so shading. shiny. <laughs> yeah, it's wet with necrotic <laughs> energies. <laughs> The metal. That's the product you use. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the, the it's about to say coin. It is kind of a coin. The medallion. The yeah, medallion that. looks so good. Uh, then I make some, add some more glow, and I do some curve adjustments to get the darks a little darker and the lights a little lighter. And um, and yeah, that's the finished piece. I thought it was really yeah. fun. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. So it's not really monster promy, but kind of. It kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah. It's Karina's time to draw now. What? And by draw, I mean talk about draw. <laughs> I already did the draw. Yeah, you did the draw. Tell us about what you did. Uh, well, I drew myself as a demon. Yeah. I feel like mine's is kind of weird. I don't know. I was really sad while I was drawing this, so it came out kind of weird, I guess, but. There's emotion in weird. it. I love weird. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah. Cool. Okay, let's count you in. Three, two, one, go. Uh, so yeah, I I didn't go monster prom with this at all. I just want to be a demon. Sometimes you just want to be a big spooky demon. Yeah, yeah. it's how you're feeling. Um. So yeah. So this is just a lot of sketching and figuring out that. Holy oh yeah, you're crap. like full demon. <laughs> yeah. That's rad. I, I I didn't know what to do with this prompt, so this is what came out. <laughs> I mean, that's the fun of these. You can do whatever yeah. you want. <laughs> the amount that, like, the, the, the speed at which this form came out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll get to that. I'll get to Tiny that. Tiny little Karina down there. Little Karina just, yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you there, Nathan. <laughs> oh, no, it's just like it indicates there's so much, you spent so much more time doing other stuff in this drawing. Because <laughs> it's like it's all, it's all condensed. I didn't really to... plan it out before I started lining it. As you can see, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't really have a plan going into this. But I, just, I was just vibing, you know? Sometimes you just want to draw yourself as a big spooky demon. Yeah. And... Um, I guess my concept here is, so I don't know if it seems like it, but I've been watching and playing a lot of Digimon lately, 
So I guess I don't think my- I've ever heard of you <laughs> playing this uh, Digimon game. No, but um, <laughs> I think my concept here is similar to the Digimon Belfimon, <laughs> who I like. Very cute guy. Oh. So oh. Belfimon is two forms, a sleeping form and a, and a rage form. And the sleeping <laughs> form is like this cute little demon that's all tied up in chains and stuff. And he's really cute. And then once he wakes up, he's big and scary and muscular. <laughs> so, are those your two forms? Those Karina? are my two forms. Sleeping and raging. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's baby. So cute. Yeah. So that's like my small form. And then the one in the back is my big form because I'm a demon now. <laughs> is it holding you up by the scruff of your neck? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> Thank <great>. you. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of this was just, I, I don't know, free, free handing this weird pose everything's just really lumpy and fleshy because spooky demons yeah you can't tell me i'm wrong <laughs> no demons aren't real so they can be whatever you want them to be yeah and i drew the wings on the wrong layer so i redid them and just a lot <laughs> of just a lot of figuring out where to put things <laughs> that's the real horror is when you draw something on the wrong layer yeah <laughs> when you draw it on the background layer mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks if i draw something good on the background layer like i'll make it work but i'm not going to be happy about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah go to channels select it all the lines and copy <laughs> it onto the right layer and all that noise yeah. Yeah. i'm loving the shapes in like this this big demon body it makes it seem like it's got a lot of like latent like power yeah. Like it looks like it's got like muscle under there and it makes me scared. It's a powerful form. <laughs> yeah. Karina also drew the gains that <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. she had. These are the gains I want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Demonic gains. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the more jaggedy shapes like the fur around the wrists and the the, the big mane sort of thing mm -hmm. um, look like They've been cut out of paper with scissors, and I absolutely love that. <laughs> ah. It looks very cool. Yeah. I love the way you're drawing these like spirally horns where you draw the, the horizontal lines first, <laughs> and then like I never would have thought to do it that way, but it, it gives it ah. such an organic- Thank like, you. It's really cool. Figuring out colors. Figuring out colors. Your splotches, the Karina yeah. splotches. Dirty icing my drawing. Um, I just I just went with a maroonish red because as we know, that's my default color for everything because it matches every color. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a good color. But it's also <laughs> I'm a, good, <laughs> a good demon color. Yeah, it works. These patterns, oh man. And I just wanted to do blue because I thought that was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so many colors if you think about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like anyways. <laughs> and like it's if you only use like, you know, a few of them. There's there's what like 10 colors total. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get Red, real. Red, there's green. You're going to be repeating some green. colors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I decided the tail was also going to be like fire. I don't know. I was just vibing with this piece. Hell so yeah. I I gave it like a glowing outline. Yeah. yeah, and then that's so I did, cool. I did that, and then I just shade it. <laughs> it's a very straightforward process for me this time. <laughs> Nothing new I mean, here. That's Looks fine. Really cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this Thank one was. You. We're just having fun for Halloween. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's so. It's a fun thing about doing like these shows. Like some episodes, you're really in the mood to like push and experiment with weird stuff, and sometimes you're just like, I just want to draw something like the way I know how to draw things good already, yeah. and just like have a good time. I just want to be big and strong. Yeah, but also not think too hard about my process. <laughs> I want to be so swole. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, I guess if I were in Monster Prom. This is it. <laughs> yeah. This is what you see. <laughs> <laughs> and then I decided to make those shadows a little deeper because, and, and then I was like, wow, I did a really bad job filling these in. So I went to go through and fix everything. And then I added this blue outline just because I thought it looked cool. 
It does, it look, does cool. look cool. Yeah. Thank I agree. you. <laughs> it makes it like otherworldly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> makes it feel very Digimon. It does actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just drew myself as a monster. It's just a digital monster, you know? Oh, and then cool. I did the cool. Promare Fire thing because you can't stop me. <laughs> it's, it looks good. Every time yeah. you do it, I go, ooh. And then I just wanted to shadow everything out and do some value work so that it's like I'm fading into the background, except for the, the little doll form. Yeah. That's what you see first. <laughs> that rules. This is such a fun drawing. This Thank is awesome. You. <laughs> Yeah, this hit me. <laughs> I love the the also the color contrast between the cute little you and the the big monster you. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. Thank it you. Rules. Awesome job. Yeah, nice work. <laughs> Let's see Julia's. Let's yes, see mine. Yes, yes. Julia, what did you even do? What did you <laughs> even do this time? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot, well, as as per usual, I had a lot of thoughts going into this. <laughs> of course. I had a lot of things that I wanted to, to do, and all of the imagery that I thought of, I really enjoyed. I really liked all the compositions, all the moods and stuff like that. It was just a day where I just had a lot of ideas. And then I looked at every single one of my thumbnails, and I was very small in all of them. So <laughs> I set myself a challenge to actually draw me. Wow. Uh, <laughs> for the first goddamn time. There's you nothing wrong challenge. with the fact that you always <laughs> make yourself so small. Yeah, in your I thought, scenes. yeah, you could make yourself one of those uh, one of those distant lurking monsters yeah. that you never yeah, quite this was the get Julia feed on. Do the damn prompt challenge. Yeah, this was my do the damn prompt. I had a lot of lurking things. I had a lot of me at a diner for some reason. You're always at a diner. <laughs> Loves the diner. Julia, do you love... like miss diners? I feel I like do. there's a lot of focus on diners lately. <laughs> Send me back to Long Island. We need to go to a diner next time we yeah. see each other in person. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Get myself some diner waffles. Hell yeah. Um, my process for this one is very similar to the childhood redraw one. So, Ooh. yeah. Cool. You want to just go in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. You didn't tell us what you drew yourself as. <laughs> oh, well, I wanted to just draw myself as like kind of a monster mom and nice. a vampire. I'm both. <laughs> because yeah. I think that's what the people want. <gasps> so a doggy? Yeah, so I what I dogs. wanted to do was that I wanted to draw myself like someone took a photo of me while I was walking by and I was going about my business. I wanted oh. like a cryptid photo proof sort of thing. Back, back in the the Bigfoot forest. Yeah, yeah. I wanted that. It's well, actually you not... two passing each other. Yeah. 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 Well, it, but yeah, it turns out we're going the same direction. So I'm just like, oh, oh. <laughs> I already said goodbye. Um, so this is me experimenting more with kind of the process that I was trying to figure out when I was doing the childhood redraw one. Um, also something that is happening in case you guys are seeing those little boxes flash on the side is that I um, was recording while Nathan was streaming. And the way that I record is that I just <laughs> use whatever OBS is signed into. Uh, so people were subscribing while I was drawing and I didn't notice it until afterwards. So, so those alerts were coming up. Anyway, watch us on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good plug. Um, Sometimes it's just me playing Hearthstone. Yeah. So this, um, this face I wind up having to draw a bit because I had an idea of what I wanted and then... I couldn't, like the face wasn't feeling 100% right. So I went back and I took photo reference and I was yeah. looking at it on my phone while I was drawing. Those are your eyes for sure. Yeah. Wow. I got big old peepers. Um, is that a milkshake from the diner? <laughs> it is not. I can't drink what? milkshakes. I'm lactose intolerant. But you do though. Yeah. It's a special treat. <laughs> Your, your monster it? sona. <laughs> that's milk. true. Yeah, your monster sona does not need to be lactose intolerant. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Um, I wanted this photo to also be like I had a very bright flash that was shining on me. So there's not going to be a lot of shading in the face. It's more going to be like soft gradients. 
Man, when I get a, a bright flash on my face, you know my eyes are going to be red. <laughs> <laughs> so many photos of me <laughs> just summoning the demon inside. <laughs> it's trying to come out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted a black and white photo of someone catching me at night, going out, walking my dog. Your demon dog? My demon dog. This Aww. is me that's, trying to figure out That's some a hound. Yeah, I'm that's a hound. For sh- that's for sure a hound. Yeah. What you've drawn. So I'm also experimenting with some brushes here. I don't know. I just I was just using this thing to to vibe, like Karina said. Yeah, it's yeah. good to vibe. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta it's vibe. Cool. Try yourself being all spooky. I love um, the way that you do digital painting. Thank yeah. you. I don't understand it. It took me a very long time to figure I it out. I hate digital painting in Photoshop, but you make it look so effortless. <laughs> it took me a long time to figure it out. And then one day I was just like, I'm going to learn the damn thing. And I dedicated like a week to just messing around and figuring it out. Wow. so good. Yeah. It's so natural. So yeah, now that cool. I have like the basis, I, yeah, I had to shift that eye in. Now that I have the basis, it, it helps when I experiment with, further digital painting but uh yeah just want to darken some stuff up hide some of those those drawing lines to make it look a little bit more natural but i still wanted some of those creases and wrinkles in um eventually i'll get to literally anything else that isn't (laughs) well you got a very good representation of you i've I've seen you make this face (laughs) (laughs) we've all seen julia make this face (laughs) yeah what (laughs) what what do you want? You made this face when Jacob asked you about masks. <laughs> yeah. Huh? huh? I needed help. Just <laughs> be figuring out the dog. Doggy. Oh, I love the like, oh, yeah. how yeah. painterly your face is, and then the dog is like this cutout yeah. of a thing. I wanted him very like demon demon hound. Yeah, it makes it look very unreal. Yeah, but I did want to give him some like fur texture, which is why he has that shine on his face. Hell yeah. yeah. Here's a, a picket fence I'm walking by. <laughs> oh, I thought yeah, it was the woods. No, nah, I'm not in the woods. I'm like walking along a fence. Gotcha. I'm definitely a, a monster in the big city. <laughs> this looks like you're lurking outside of someone's house. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm going on a walk with my dog. <laughs> oh, cool. He's got to pee. Ooh. Cool. Then I wanted just some, yeah, some decay and some roots and things. Oh yeah. But I also oh, wanted yeah. to play with it a little bit. Um. So I I created these knots in the in the picket fence that I turned into eyes. You <laughs> lost your you lost your beverage. Oh, that comes back. Okay, okay. good. I was worried. Yeah. No, my beverage. But comes it's not back. it's not a milkshake. What is it? Uh, is it a soda? No, you'll see. Juice box? Is it juice? We'll see. <laughs> I love to draw a juice box, but- Oh, are these fingies? Little fingies. I have little fingies. There's going to be little eyes popping in around places. Subtle. Yeah, I want it to be a nice little cryptid. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's Oh, spooky. yeah. I love a, a piece where just like the longer you stare at it, the more creepy stuff you notice. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted one of those like haunted photos where you look at it, and you're trying to find the ghost, <laughs> and then, uh oh, there it is. It's, it's just, everywhere. So fucking impressive, man. It's all ghost now. <laughs> this rules. Oh, I was also pa- practicing my background drawings that week. I was doing some photo studies, and I had figured out some good like wood grain texture in black and white. It's a vape. Nice. It's not a vape. Is it a blood bag? It's a blood bag. Because uh, I'm a little vampire. Uh, Is it a blood bag? That was going to be Is a, it a Capri blood bag? Sun. Is it a widow blood bag? <laughs> well, blood bags are like Capri Suns for vampires, if you think about it. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Just a little snack. <laughs> Just a little butt bag. Oh, yeah. And then I decided to change where my eyes are looking. Oh, yeah. So kind of looking at the person who's oh, taking the photo. Confrontational. Yeah. So I'm like, what? This whips. Hell yeah. This wow. whips and rips. Everybody's is so good. <laughs> Mine's a little more straightforward than I think people were expecting. I had all these like grandeur ideas in the very beginning of being like this cool, very sneaky monster. And then I decided to go to subtle route. 
but you drew like a perfect likeness of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did such a good painting of your own. Like I couldn't do yeah. that. I can't do that. Like, it's unmistakably <laughs> you. Yeah. And you did this one pretty quick too, if I remember. Yeah. It took me about an hour and a half. Damn. That's <laughs> freaking, I just want to vomit. Oh my god! There's vomit on my sweater already. <laughs> That's the scariest thing of all. <laughs> well, this has been our Halloween Sonas episode. Wow, so to scary! To celebrate the scary month, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you didn't get too scared. Um, if you did, you can you can hit that subscribe monster mash <laughs> that subscribe and it will and it will protect you from monster attacks. Yeah, yeah. go to the Patreon <laughs> and support us. <laughs> was that good? That was good. Give right. us your money. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thank you to the patrons. Yes. Thank you for watching. <laughs> We're sorry. 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 sorry.